Hello, I'm Funke Akindele. And I am Toby Makinde. And we are the directors of Battle, Battle on, on Buka Street. Street. <laughs> How did we come about mm. Battle on Booker Street, <laughs> Toby? <laughs> well, um, we got an original story. Um, by Jack. By Jack. He works with Film One. Yes. Yes. And um, we read it and Auntie here thought about it that this story can be better. It can be better told, you know, and <laughs> As always, she walked her magic around the story <laughs> development. Actually, I believe that there is no bad story. It's the development that matters. You know, Absolutely. how you tell the story. Yeah. I, I love to write stories that people can relate to. to, you understand. So when I got the first draft of Battle on Booker Street, it was actually Mama put Mama put heel. Heel. Yeah. I was like, first the title, we need to change it. Yeah. <laughs> we need something that everyone can relate to. Mm -hmm. You know, from the high class, middle, low class. Yeah. You know, the grassroots. I love Buka food so everyone. much. Why don't we change the title to Buka? Which is quite relatable. Yes. yes. Do you all know Battle on Buka Street is a family story? But we don't yeah. want to be direct with it. We don't want it to be like, oh, in your face, we want to paint a family story. Nah. <laughs> Why don't we just take the major problem, the competition of food? Yeah. Why don't we just let the title be all about that? Mm -hmm. So we had to bring in the battle yeah. and the booker. Okay. So we created a street called Battle on Booker Street. So Jack came up with the original story mm -hmm. and we developed it with our team. And I here know. comes Battle, battle on, on Booker, booker Street. street. <laughs> Okay, what attracted me to the story? The fact that we want to celebrate our culture. You know, you're talking about Nigerian food out there. Okay. I watch a lot of um, food network programs. I've never seen them prepare amala, yeah. pounded yam, egusi. Yeah, Nigerian delicacies. You, you understand, Nigerian <laughs> delicacies. It's time... We export our thing. Yes, <laughs> so that attracted me. Buka food. Yeah. <laughs> then battle of siblings. Mm -hmm. A lot of polygamous families. Yeah. They have they have this problem. This internal battle that they pass from yeah. mothers to children, from one generation so to another. another generation. We need to put a stop to it. And that attracted me. I was so happy to work on it. Because Toby will tell you we love unity. Yeah, absolutely. And um, that, that's why we were attracted to the project because there, there are certain norms, there are certain values that we need to export to the world, that we need to tell a story about, you know. Um, inherited battles are very common. You know, battle from father to son, you know, um, siblings and all of that. Even even beyond polygamous homes. Even, exactly. Yeah. So we, we, we thought that it was, it was better that we tell this story. And we also need to tell people that forgiveness is key. Yeah. Like it is everything. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, you knowing the start of battle, you don't know how it will end. Exactly. You know, so just... Let it go. You can allow anger, but do not let it stay for too long. Why did I pick Toby McKinney as my co-director? Why won't I pick Toby McKinney as my co-director? Toby and I, we've come a long way. Yeah. When did we meet? Um, that was 20... 14, 2015. Let's give them a backstory. Can you yeah. just quickly, quickly, quickly? <laughs> okay, so I met Miss Akindele before she met me. <laughs> I mean, I've always known her, I've always looked up to her, I've always seen her in my screen since when I was a child, you know. And then I've I've attended lots of her auditions. I've always wanted to be on a project, you know, as an actor. And you know. There's this one time while I was doing my master's that I decided, now this is the funny thing, I decided that, oh, I've been struggling, I've been going to auditions for too long, so it's time for me to go for my last audition. If I don't get picked in this audition, I'm giving up acting. 
And that's how I went for the audition of Industry. I remember after auditioning, I mean, like always, I was told, you'll be gotten back to, we will get back to you. And then I was just on my way out, and Auntie Funke just came to meet me. He said, have you auditioned? Have you auditioned? I said, yes. He said, come, come, come. Write your name here. Write your name here. I was wondering that he, what's happening, what's happening, you know? And then I waited weeks, days, and lo and behold, I got a call back, you know, and then I got a role on Indoor Street. Now, on Indoor Street, I was just an actor. I thought mm, it's just a one-off, like, you know? So I was already, as usual, lobbying with the production manager. Please, if there's any other production, please call me, blah, blah, blah. On Indoor Street set, I don't know. Auntie, first of all, please note, Auntie is very spiritual. How she does her casting is spiritual. How she picks people she works with is spiritual. Everything about that is spiritual, trust me. I was just on set, randomly, and she just came to me like she knew that I didn't have anything to do after I'd done my master's program. And she just came to me, do you have a job? And I'm like, no, I don't have a job. I'll give you a job. I'm like, I'm just an actor. Like, what sets me apart from other actors? Why did she particularly come to meet me? And lo and behold, that's how I started working with her. I started off as a production manager and then went on to being a script supervisor, went on to being assistant director, went on to being line producer. Trust me, I've gone through the spheres of <laughs> <laughs> every aspect of production and then here, I am today as a director. Auntie, thank you so much. <laughs> so you um, so you can now see why I have to work with Toby Makinde. Toby and I, we've come a long way. And um, I know every department of film production. Absolutely. I've worked in every department. I've worked in makeup, location recce, location manager, um, producer, production manager, coordinator, Ketra, yes. hairstylists. I've done everything, all. <laughs> all departments of production. You understand, filmmaking. Anytime I meet a young person on set filming, I'm like, you can't just be before the camera, mm. except you have something else you're doing to make money. You need to start being behind the camera so you can make extra money for yourself to pay your bills. Absolutely. So Toby, you know, was ready to work, went through training, Times we smile, times I shout, times we break down. <laughs> She's very strict. <laughs> <laughs> and Toby is very dedicated. Toby, Toby's ready to work. He's hardworking. He's calm. I love working with Toby because he's very calm. He's a calmer version of me. <laughs> he takes his time. I'm very on it. I'm proactive. You understand? But Toby will take his time on something. And that is a strength for me, I must say. So I enjoy working with him and he has grown. This is not his first directing gig. He, he worked on Jennifer's Diary, yeah. My Siblings and I as a director, but for, for a big screen movie. Yeah, cinema blockbuster. Yes, this is his first, yeah. this is directorial debut. Yeah. You understand? And I thought of it, Toby, we'll, we'll be, it will be great to work with you. Can we work on Battle on Booker Street together? He was wowed. He's like, Auntie, Yes. I said, you would do it. We would do it together. Yes. <laughs> because most times when we're, when, when we're working on TV shows, when I'm too busy, you know, to direct, I call him on the phone. Have you seen the shot? Okay, can I see an example of the shot? Can you send me the rehearsals? That's how I want the shot to be. He's on it. This is a way Absolutely. to celebrate Toby. Toby, I can't wait for you to go out there, start directing Bigger movies. Amen. International. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. So this Thank is why I had to work with Toby. We've come a long way. Toby is hardworking. Toby pays attention to details. Toby knows my style of directing. And that's why we did this together. Yeah. Okay, um, it was an amazing experience and and for me, it was it was different because, you know, I, I was part of the scripting process up to production, up to pre-production. So from the scripting process, from the story development, uh, Miss Akindele, you know, had already 
painted how she wanted each character to be, how she wanted each set to be, how she wanted them to dress. You know, so we, we, we had first-hand information on all these. So coming to production, we knew exactly what we, we needed to do. And um, it, was, it was quite easy. And luckily for me, um, I, I worked with professional actors, their best, who are legends, who are, <laughs> you know, people that... that have, they know their onions. Yes, they know their onions. Yes. And for me, I'm happy to have worked with, you know, these people because they did not look down on me. They didn't see me as, mm, who is this young newcomer? No, they actually listened yes. to every direction that I mm -hmm. gave them. And, you know, they even shared their ideas with me. Why don't we do it this way? And I'll be like, oh, that's a wonderful idea. You know, they, they were very professional about it. They didn't say, oh, because I'm a legend or because I'm a veteran in the industry. You know, and so this made it a smooth ride for me. I can remember Uncle Kim yes. talking about you on set. Yes. He was so happy <laughs> working was... with you. He wished you well. Even Auntie yes. Shola Chibuali. Auntie Shola, Auntie, Auntie Tina, Tina was so Amba. happy yes. that you're directing. Yes. yes, I remember. Because Auntie Tina, I mean, saw me grow. She has, she has known me since I was a kid actor, and now having me direct her was like, wow, growth. She had to think, Miss Funke Akindele, that thank you so much for giving him the opportunity. And I'm forever grateful. So it was a smooth ride for me, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, Toby, let me, let me just chip this in. Yeah. It wasn't smooth all the way, but you were, you were just dedicated. Yeah. You faced the challenge. I can remember, Toby, yeah. you turned black. Yeah. We all turned we burnt black. Out. We burnt out. The sun, the rain, the sun was so much. Oh, harsh weather harsh conditions. Weather. But we killed it. Yes. I can remember you were tired to be. Yeah. You fell ill. Yes, I fell ill the on last the last scene, day of shoot. The last day of shoot, yeah. yes. <laughs> you fell ill, but you pulled through. Yeah. I remember you didn't want to go. Yeah. You didn't want to stop filming. Auntie was yes. the one that stood her ground. She said, no, Toby, go and rest. And that's how she is with everybody. <laughs> go and rest. I said, no, and I can't do it. I can't do it. Because it was the last day and we were shooting the market scene. Yes. And she was acting. I didn't want the pressure to be too much on her, but she stood her ground. Though. She said, no, go and rest. So it was, it was both ways. You had fun. Yeah. It was challenging. Yeah. But Toby pulled through. Yes. Congratulations, Toby. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs>Okay, what were the challenges faced during the course of production? <laughs> challenges are bound to come. Yes. Absolutely. There's nothing you do in this world that you will not face challenges. Mm -hmm. But I don't see the challenges. You understand? Yeah. Because there's always a solution. They're just hurdles. Yes, there are hurdles we have to jump and pass. For me, first it was the weather. Mm. <laughs> it was sunny. Ah. <laughs> it was burning, and I'm used to being a four-man on set. I supervise every department. Every department. I do not mind my business. <laughs> <laughs> I had two line producers yes, on set. Yes. Wendy Maswe, Nicole Ofegbo. Big shout out to them. Big yeah, shout out. Big shout out. <laughs> they killed it. Yes. <laughs> Nicole and Wendy killed it. But I was on ground to make sure that we don't make mistakes and to prefer solution to the challenges they're facing. Yes. I could remember the first day on, ba on, on Booker Street. Street. We had been film filming other scenes, other, scenes other locations. For like two weeks. For two weeks. Yeah. Then we had to go to Booker Street, and the props master did not give me the props. Yeah. Before, before that, it even rained heavily. It rained, we so had we had to, to cancel. Yeah, we had to cancel and rebuild Booker Street again mm -hmm. the entire day. Even the set dressing, I had issues with the set dressing. Yeah. People say I'm a perfectionist, and that's why they feel, oh, she's too strict. <laughs> I just believe what is worth doing it's is worth, worth doing, well. doing well. That's it. Whenever I'm filming, I don't look at the present challenge. I look at when I'm climbing the stage to receive the awards. Yeah. I look at when people are at the cinemas watching and clapping. That is what is on my mind. So I do not see challenges. So we got on set, the props, the food was not enough. I could not see the ofeaku. I could not see the um, ofensala. Yeah. I could not see the oha. I could not see the begiri well, everything. I had to go back. I jumped on the 
location bus, bus and went back to the camp to start preparing the food. Yeah. We lost that day yes. entirely. We didn't mm -hmm. film. So we came back and I told them, sorry, shut down. We can't film. They said, no, we can manage. I said, no, <laughs> we will not film this. <laughs> so we came back. We lost a lot of money that day. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, because so, we had to pay the extras trust, and the food, the location. The, the location, so many things. Then after the weather, then the major challenge, the famous market scene. Ha. Let me just spill the beans a little. That scene, I filmed it when I was very sad. Hmm. It was one of my saddest days on earth. Something very personal happened and I was crying. I broke down heavily. I couldn't film. But I just spoke to myself. I said, Funke, you have started this. Challenges will come. Mm. As a Yoruba saying, Omotuba Maga, Ese Matsiri. If you must make it in life, you will face a lot of hurdles that you need to jump and pass to the next stage. Mm. So I wiped off my tears. Action! I went in with mercy, fought, fought, cut. I start panting, start crying because I had cried earlier. So I was very tired hmm. physically. But I summoned up courage. I filmed it, you know, because I had to give it my best. I started well, I need to end it well. Wow. And that was the last day of shoot. shoot. So even after that, I still ran, we still rapped, I still prayed with the crew members, we still ran to destroy Booker Street, yeah. to shut it down. <laughs> you know, I, I, I still had hope. Yeah. So one thing I'll just say out there to people, anything you do, challenges are bound to come. Absolutely. Nobody told you it will be easy. Yeah. What you should just pray for is the strength to keep keeping on. Yeah. You just have to give it your best. So challenges came. Yes. But we'll give it our best. But we'll give it our best. <laughs>
Then the newbies. Oh, Let yes. me talk about the newbies, oh, please. Man. So, um, I remember while we were casting, because casting happened while we were developing the script. The moment we build the character and we know all the attributes of the character, Auntie just, she just, she just stares into space. In Kemo will play this role. Auntie Shola will play this role, you know? <laughs> so I remember her saying that, okay, yeah, so we have, we have the A-listers, yes, yes. But you see this, this, um, this character as the role of Adi Mide, Fadi Kemi. I want new faces. I want new faces. I want, I want this film to produce new stars. And then I'm like, hey, Auntie, let's use the people that we know before. <laughs> you know, but she said, no, no. We have to do an audition. Let's let's get new faces, and so that's how we arranged um, a closed door audition, you know, and had young people come come for the auditions for character of Ademi uh, for the character of um, uh, the twins Ademi Day, Kaiso uh, Kaira, uh, yeah, Kaiso Kaira, Fadi Kemi, you know, Yejide's daughter, and you know, and from the audition we saw new faces, we picked them. So I remember them coming for a callback, you know, because Miss Funke Akindeli was not around for the first audition that we had, so she needed to see the people that we had picked, and I remember she saw them and she was like, oh. So do you have time from this period to this period? They said yes, and she said, okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. They'll call you, they'll call you. And lo and behold, they came on set. They were, they were, they were very excited to be on that set, mm -hmm. and they were amazing to work with because. And and um, let me just chip this in. I actually watched the audition tapes, you know, and I just wanted to meet them physically. physically. I, I I I watched it. I liked it. But I just wanted to see them. And I must commend these young actors. And I want to advise young actors out there. Mm. You have to be punctual. Yes. And you have to be dedicated. Yes. Anything you do, give it your, your all. all. You have to be deliberate mm. about winning. You have to be conscious. Yes. You have to be hungry for it. I remember Moshid Fatah. I met him on the set of Far From Home. Such a pleasant young man. <laughs> I love him so much. Amazing ah, actor. I love him. <laughs> I was always calling him my son. Watch it, watch it. We work together, work together. When the opportunity came to work with newbies, the new kids on the block, I'm so proud of them. <laughs> I, we reached out to Fatai, uh, Moshid Fatai, and I told him, um, can you sing? Yeah, I've seen one or two of his stage performances, and he sings. I said, okay, I'd like you to sing in this movie. Um, can you just record yourself singing? We told like four or five actors. Yes. Moshud was quick. You know, I told Moshud now. In the next three hours, Moshud yeah, had so sent so. in the video of him singing, acting, everything. Yeah. I'm like, this guy is so dedicated. Yeah. And there was this other young guy who was delaying. I'm like, I'll go for Moshud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every time I told Moshud to come, he came. Like four or five times. Yeah. He came down, we saw, we spoke. Mm -hmm. Then I reached out to the twins, because I've worked with Bemi before. Yes. Bemi is, I think she's Kaiso or Kaira. Yeah. Bemi is such a wonderful actor. Bemi is, she's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I love her so much. She makes me laugh. Yeah. So more like I said, I want Bemi. Mm -hmm. Even without audition, yeah. I want Bemi. Yeah. So I wanted a twin sister. Yeah. So I said, yeah. can you send in some people to meet me at a hotel? After watching the tape, I said, let me meet these three ladies. Yeah. And I was just seated in a hotel, and they came in. Yeah. Like, Ma, we're here. I said, can you smile for me? Can you, can you frown? Can you tell me I love you in two yeah. different ways? Okay, fine, you've got the role. Are you available? Yeah. Just like that, and you got the role. That was Miracle and Judith, I remember. Yes, <laughs> Miracle and Judith. And Judith was, Judith played my daughter. Yes, Fadi came. Then Uche. Uche Obunse. <laughs> Uche played Awele's daughter. Yes, Ifunaya. That's Ifunaya. Yeah. Uche had worked with us on Jennifer's Diary. Yeah. My siblings are like, Uche is very intelligent. Uche is actually, she was actually a first class student. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, She studied creative arts at the yeah, University so. of Lagos. Uche is a fantastic actor. She's very intelligent. She's calm. Yeah. <laughs> She's well mannered. I said, we need to give these people a chance. Yes. Toby was like, are we going to risk it? Let's use known faces. I didn't know. <laughs> 
Let us use them. <laughs> we, we are the no faces. We will push them. Yeah. And they gave it their all. They were dedicated. Mm -hmm. They stayed on calm. They were punctual. Mm -hmm. Every time I spoke to them, I gave them a lot of pep talks. They were attentive. Mm -hmm. There's a particular scene where the boys busted um, their father. Yes, at the hideout. Yes, I remember Very speaking to them. <laughs> I remember speaking to them for over an hour. Yes, on the location bus. I, I sat down, shut the bus. I told them my story. And I told them, you have to be hungry. I gave everybody their expressions. And they killed it. They, they killed it. Yeah. Then Michael Falari, I've worked with him on Far From, Far from Home. He played my son. Yeah. Mike is a very good actor, very deep actor. Yeah. His expressions, yeah. wow. I said, I'd like you to play this. I'd like you to do something else. And he gave me their all. It was so wonderful working with these actors. Yes. Dedicated, on point, well-mannered. And I'll advise actors out there. Yeah. Please, no airs around you. No airs. Just come <laughs> do your job. I've worked with people. That's I it. go and set after collecting my money. <laughs> I go, act. That's it. And I leave the place. Discipline is key. It is key. If you want to work with us at Fan Funke IOT Nakinele Network, you have to be disciplined, you yeah. have to be dedicated. And hard Yes, professional to <laughs>